Yesterday when I was driving my car, I took this picture of my vehicle's odometer. And if you look at the odometer, it says that I was driving at 20 miles per hour, which is basically 34 kilometers per hour. So let's see what happened. So basically, I was driving my vehicle on this road and I was going from point A to point B. But when I was at point C, I checked the odometer reading and I realized that I was driving at 34 kilometers per hour. So when I took this picture, I was driving at 20 miles per hour, which is basically 34 kilometers per hour. My instantaneous speed is 34 kilometers per hour. But if I tell you that I was driving from A to B when I was at point C, then basically I'm giving you the magnitude as well as direction and that is known as instantaneous velocity now let's consider the definition of instantaneous speed and velocity so instantaneous speed is defined as a speed at any given instant of time and in this example the instantaneous speed is 34 km per hour instantaneous velocity v of a moving body is defined as v is equal to limit delta t tends to zero delta v over delta t which is equal to dx over dt so basically if I tell you the direction as well as the magnitude of the velocity which is 34 km per hour and from A to B then that is known as instantaneous velocity. Now one thing we need to remember for the average speed that the average of all the instantaneous speed is the average speed found simply by distance over time ratio. In other words we can say that the average speed is the mean of all the instantaneous velocities that we consider while moving from one point to another point and this is how we will define instantaneous velocity and speed.